Ladies and gentlemen of the sanctuary, beautiful people, good morning. I am the Grand Master, and I also go by d -Ray, and I'm your coach of the San Diego Snugglers, and today we're taking on our buddy, our friend, our hermano, Josh, aka Ultra Player, who is a huge threat. And after dropping, spoilers, after dropping our game last week, because we couldn't get stuff to go our way, this is a must win. The UBL is only nine weeks. Every win, every loss means a lot. So we're looking to get a dub. Um, so hopefully this is the game where we can turn things around. I really love this team. I think this team is phenomenal. We just have to go through a behemoth. That's how this league is, right? Everybody's good. So we got to work cut out for us. If you're excited for it, do me a massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button. And if you're new, por favor, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, hit the bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video. Guys, I'm tired. It's freaking early in the morning. But we're here to play some Pokemons. So pull up a chair, get your popcorn ready, and hit the lights! Are you afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So the West Virginia Miniors, coached by Ultra Player, consists of Age Slash, Galarian Zapdos, Cinderace, Galarian Weezing. He's got uh, Vaporeon, Rotom, Mo, Mesprit, Exelgor, Sandaconda, Guzzlord, and Porygon. A couple things to, take, to keep in mind. He does have rockers in the form of Mesprit and Sandaconda. He's got Spikes and T-Spice and uh, Galarian Weezing. He's got Defog in the form of Zapdos, as well as Rotom. Um, I do believe, I don't think that Mesprit gets Rock, gets a Defog, but those are those two Defoggers. And uh, Clerics in the form of the um, Vaporeon and the Weezing Galar. So also he has some hazard control with his Cinderace, which is something to keep in mind as well with Court Change. So the Pokemon that I think he's gonna bring for this matchup, Aegislash, Zapdos, uh, it's the Battle of the Zapdos, by the way. We have the Cantonian Zapdos, and uh, he's got the Galarian Zapdos. But I think he brings Aegislash, Zapdos, Cinderace, Weezing, Rotom, Mo, and Mesprit. I do think that the Vaporeon sits on the bench because there's a lot of offensive pressure on it. Or we apply a lot of offensive pressure, but you never know, right? The first Pokemon we're going to be bringing is going to be QB number one, aka Dracovish. QB one is showing up with Fishes Run, Ice Fang, Super Fang, and Outrage. We have enough speed to outspeed a max speed Cinderace by one point. That's all we really need. Uh, strong draw ability, obviously, to get the most out of our Fishes Runs. 252 in attack with the Adamant Nature. This thing is here to just click the button. Uh, Super Fang is there just in case he does bring the Vaporeon, but again, I don't anticipate it coming. Um, that way we can get 50% damage off on that, and it's uh, forcing it to go for a wish and give us a free switch, um, which would be really nice. So, uh, Dracovish, if the Vaporeon doesn't come, is going to be free range, honestly. It does a fuck ton of damage to his entire team, so QB1 is going to be putting in the finest of worth this matchup. Really excited for it. Next mod that we have is Copper or Jaw. We have Jumanji coming back for week number two with Heavy Metal this week. Assault Vest again, just like week one. Heavy Slime, Heat Crash, Power Whip, and Earthquake. Power Whip is there for the Vaporeon. Earthquake is there in case he brings the Aegis. Earthquake is there for the Aegis Slash, as well as the uh, Cinderace. That's going to be really clutch for that. And also, um, no, just that. Yeah, just that. Uh, heavy Slam, phenomenal stab because his entire team is very light compared to Copper Jaw, so it does copious amounts of damage. He crashes there for the Rotomo as well as the H Slash, but it does get affected by the King Shield, so we do have to keep that in mind. It's something just to keep in the back of our head. Uh, running the Adamant Nature this week with 252 in attack, 212 in Spideff, 44 in HP. So we're super, 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 super strong this week. More of a wall breaker slash of status absorber. Copper Jaw is going to be our main switch into the uh, Aegis Slash, especially if we find out that it is special. So Copper Jaw is going to be like our main, like, kind of scout check to see how it goes. So hopefully it's able to work out for us. Next mod we have is Tesla, the Zapdos. Static ability, just like week one. Heavy Duty Booties. We have Thunderbolt, Hurricane, Roost, and Defog. His only 
uh, resist to Hurricane is the Aegis Slash, which gets bought by Thunderbolt. We have a defensive Zapdos, kind of, to be able to handle the Galarian Zapdos. So this is our main switch into it. In Mox, he, um, the, uh, shout out to Kurt. Kurt the Buzzwool did a phenomenal job in our Mox. He actually brought um, the Facade set, Bulk of Facade. So when he gets statused, he gets that double damage with the Facade, which is actually a super cool bring. That's something that Josh would definitely think of. So if that is the set, we're gonna have to scout for that, and that's gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with, but hey, we'll go one step at a time. 252 in HP, 108 in defense, 92 in special attack, 4 in speed F, and 52 in speed. Um, I believe that this is enough speed to outspeed um, the... He just sent me eyeballs. <laughs> uh, enough speed to outspeed a modest max special attack. Um, mo yeah, modest max speed. Rotomo. I believe is what we did that for. So that is Zapdos. Next mod that we have is Seismitoad. Totally is coming this week with Scald, Earthquake, Toxic, and Protect. Protect is there to be able to get some extra toxic damage as well as leftovers recovery. Because we do have leftovers. And to be able to uh, get that damage, crash damage from the high jump kick from the Cinderace. 244 in HP, 252 in defense, 12 in speed. This is here to check Cinderace. It's got one job and one job only. Is to make sure that the Cinderace does not get out of hand. Very simple set this week. Next mod we have is Zorark. Zorark is showing up with the illusion ability, obviously black glasses because we have two stabs of dark. Dark pulls sucker punch and we have extra sensory in U-turn. We're running the hasty nature so that we can do a little bit more damage with our sucker punches to be able to get some damage off on that cinder race. U-turn is there as well for some pivot momentum. Extra sensory is to be able to hit Zapdos primarily. We have max special attack and enough speed to outspeed. I believe we did the Zapdos. Yeah, enough speed to outspeed the Zapdos by one point. So that is Zorark, phenomenal special attacker this week. We have Roserae showing up this week with Natural Cure to be a status absorber for the Rotom Mo if that thing comes because it's probably the best check that he has at Dracovish because Vaporeon is indeed pressured a little bit too much this matchup to be able to uh, absorb those Thunder Waves. Black Sludge for some passive recovery. Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, and Spikes. Spikes is awesome in this matchup. Want to get as many Spikes as we can, but cautiously, right? Because we don't want them to be switched over to us from the Cinderace. Sleep Powder is there to hopefully catch the Aegis Slash on the switch or something else that wants to come in. Sludge Bomb is going to be great for the uh, Rotomo. Uh, Giga Drain is also there for the uh, the Vaporeon and the uh, Santa Conda. Pretty self-explanatory set this week. Um, that's going to be the team. Uh, we're going to get connected to Josh. Um, I've been looking forward to this matchup. We're slowly waking up as we start to get the team builder up and going. And uh, I'm really nervous. But if you're not nervous before a game, then, yeah, then something's wrong. So... Again, before we even get started, guys, leave a comment down below what your predictions are, which Pokemon's going to be popping off. And uh, again, if you're new here, subscribe and hit the thumbs up button before we hop into this matchup. With all that being said, I'm going to cut to get connected to Josh, and I'll be right back. All right, beautiful peeps, we are back. Uh, we're at Team Preview, and there's a couple things that I'm really, really, really uh, confused with. I'm surprised he didn't bring the Rotom. I thought that that would be the thing over the Vaporeon, and uh, he it just doesn't bring... Oh, he brings Guzzlord. I kind of thought that he would, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Um, I think... And he also didn't bring Cinderace, which is actually mad cool. Uh, if he leads with the Excel Core, that could be kind of an issue, but I don't see any reason why we can't just leave with a Guapo instead of Spikes. Um, we could just lead up with Dracovish and just go from there. Um, that could be like the turn one thing. I can just go with that, and then just pivot around as best I can. Um, I feel like getting momentum off early would be really, really nice. Um, he doesn't have a Thunderbolt switch in for the most part, so or immunity, I should say. But I'm really, really nervous. Josh is super duper good, and uh, I'm trying to get my best to be relaxed. But it's uh, he's a threat. So we already said it in the chat. Good luck, have fun to uh, my buddy Josh. Uh, he actually just DM me says I got stats. That's cool. Awesome. Don't have to worry about that. Zapdos, let's get it. Say hello to Dracovish. <laughs> All right. Um, if he decides to hit me, then I think that we're. I think that we're okay. Um, Vaporeon. I could just actually. You know what? I'm switching to. I'm switching to Tesla. If he decides to go for a U-turn, if he scarfed, uh, he'll outspeed obviously. And if he scarfed, then I can try to get a Static Para. Question mark again if he's that facade set like the facade if he gets paired then that, I'm in big trouble but we'll see we'll see but we're gonna pull the double into Vaporeon and starts to put some offensive pressure 
Uh, I can definitely think... Uh, so, if everything goes well the way that we anticipate right now, I think that he... So now we, we've revealed that we scarfed if he switches out. Does he switch out though? He does switch out. Okay, so now he knows we're, he knows we're scarfed. Which sucks. I'm shaking, dude. Why am I shaking? Oh my god. Wheezing. Okay. That is fine. That was not a switch in. I'll take that though. Um, I think that I can just go for a Thunderbolt, right? Or I can go for a Hurricane. I'm kind of okay with going for a Hurricane. How much hurt will a Hurricane do? Hurricane will do a lot. Let's go for a Hurricane. Wheezing. Withdraws. Alright, what's your switch into Zapdos? Oh, is this your Zapdos switching? Are you vested? Oh. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, I think that now we bring in Jumanji. That's unfortunate. Getting damage off on that would have been really, really nice. But here we are. All right, all right, that's okay. That's the game we play. Knock off. Oh, that sucks. What? Oh my gosh. That does so much damage. Holy shiitakes. What? Heavy slam could be nice here. Uh, I think we have to go for heavy slam. Let's go for it. Damn, dude. That's an, that's an unfortunate turn of events, bro. That's real mad unfortunate. So he's got knockoff on the Guzzlord. Can I gauge how much damage that did? Oh my god, it did a lot. I mean, is it Guzzlord? I mean, it's got base 101 attack. Let me get off an attack on something. Olivia, what's Olivia? Ooh, bro. This is not the switch in. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna get rid of my heavy metal, but this should still bop you. Yeah. Okay. So cop kills. Easy. He said that he was gonna do the stats, but I still want to write it down anyway, just in case. All right. So Weezing is gone. Whew, why am I so nervous? Oh my gosh. I'm very, very nervous, and I'm also very cold, and I don't know why I'm so cold. I get cold whenever I get nervous. Zapdos. Um, I kind of want to bring in Tesla. This is my main switch into this thing. Hmm. What do I need Guzzler for still? I think it's pretty nice for it to make sure that I don't lose to Excel War. And this has got a mud shot. If he's got a mud shot, that would be in Fort. But we're gonna go ahead and switch. See what he wants to go for. Thunderous kick, okay. Static pair? No static pair. 153. Alright, so 153. Alright, so he brought us down to 153. Again, no static pair there, which is unfortunate. That would be best case scenario from the miss. Zapdos, Galar. If you are, let's say, like a life orb, and then you're not a life orb set. If you're like a leftover set, we got 34 seconds left. We're up on time, which is really nice. So if we are at minus one defense, uh, Brave Bird has a chance to kill. Actually, no, it doesn't. I'm actually going to go for a Thunderbolt here. Or we can go for a Hurricane. What is The Guzzlers came in last time. Is that, is that the switch in this time? Guzzlord? Because if that's the case, I kind of want to bring in Jumanji. Let's go for that. Let's bring in Jumanji. If Guzzlord was your switch in, then you bring it in again now. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so you are, if I could weaken you for, if I could weaken you for Dracovish, that would be really, really nice. I gotta go for an Earthquake. Um, Heavy Slam looks like it's gonna be free though, so we're gonna go for Heavy Slam. If he's got Speed Invest me, he's gonna outspeed me. 
that much we know. But the way that I brought this in, maybe he thinks I'm fast elephant, so best case scenario he switches. But if he doesn't, that's fine. If he doesn't, that's fine, we'll give him elephant. Alright, we're settling in now. <laughs> the nerves are kind of slowly going away. Alrighty. High horsepower, so he kills us here. Alright. So the bluff didn't work. Um, so what is... What, do you get an attack boost here? It does. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think what we do now is... We bring in totally. Yeah. What does totally help us out with? Well, totally was here for the Cinderace, so... That was a misplay on my part. Could've just brought totally in from the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Toxic. There's no way that he brings in the, uh... We do hit, which is awesome. We do hit, which is awesome. <sighs> Let's see what he does here. Knock off, okay. Does a lot. Okay. So from here, I'm sure that he wants to get more damage off on this. I'm gonna go for Protect. Dracovish, how much damage do I do to you? Mm. So he does stay in Roxy. Okay. Getting a Toxic off on this would be phenomenal. So let's go ahead and go for Toxic. If he has Heal Bell, that would suck. Tom passes out. So let's see what he brings in here. Not having my leftovers is quite unfortunate. Hmm. Something's gonna get toxic. What's gonna come in and get toxic? I don't think that you bring in the Aegis last year. That's not a play. I would rather get a. I would rather get a Levi. What's a Levi? Okay. So he wants to try and win here, like right here and now. I have a whole lot of Zapdos for this. I don't think that he can really touch Zapdos. I want to see what he does here. If he sets up spikes, do I care? Not really. I'm gonna protect. I don't care if he sets the spikes. I wanna see what he does. Bug Buzz. Are you the throat spray set? Cell Gore, level 50. Um, Bug Buzz, if he's max special attack, timid. Bug Buzz does 17%, so we switch. Bring in Tesla. And then we go for a Roost. I think is the play. <sighs> so we have the Guzzlor Toxic. We have the Excel Gore Toxic. Bug Buzz. Okay, this should be doing nothing. Throat Spray? No Throat Spray. Okay. So on this play, I'm actually going to go for a Roost here. Let's go for that. Uh, for the most part, if I understand this correctly, I think that he's actually walled by this, so... This is free. Here comes Maple. Okay. So, what do I not mind getting knocked off here? I could just bring in Seismitoad again. Like, for sure skis. So, I don't have U-Turn, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna bring in Totally again. Oh boy, this is uh, going to be one hell of a matchup. We'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever I'm just like shivering, <laughs> he 
you know it's getting good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch out. We're gonna bring in Seismitoad on the anticipated knockoff. So we'll see. There's the knockoff again. All right, so. Maybe he thinks we go for a Toxic. I'm actually going to go ahead and Toxic here. Or I could Earthquake. Let's Earthquake. Let's see what he wants to go for. I could have Scalded. With the Zapdos wanting to come in. Boppy, is that Zapdos? Ooh, if I had Scalded there? Damn. Alright, I'm going to go ahead. I think on this play, I think I have to just... Scald. Yeah. I think I have to just hack this off. It's going to click Scald. Yeah. Thunderous Kick, this is going to kill us. Does this kill us though? Depending on your investment for your uh, max attack, maybe? No, we die, we die. G Zap kills Toad. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and bring in Trinidad disguised as Dracovish. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. So he brings in the Vaporeon here. Right? So... Let's see. Vaporeon comes in. How much damage do we do with a Dark Pulse? A lot, actually. Extra Sensory doesn't do enough. I'm gonna go for a Dark Pulse here. Unless he calls that this is Zorark. And if that's the case, you can always flinch him. So I think that the Vaporeon comes in here. Roxy. So we're gonna get damage off on this. If he's max HP, this should be doing 34% min. Does a lot. Let's go. I am down for that Damahe. I am down for that Damahe. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, U-turn out here. I mean, you turn out here. And I'm going to bring in... Roserade. So let's do that. If it goes for Baton Pass, good play. Goes for Wish. Okay, cool. Does he have Wish Protect? Is my question. I think that a layer of spikes here would actually be, would go a really long way. A layer of spikes here would go a really, really long way. He can go for protect here if he wants to, but we're gonna go ahead and set up a slow layer of spikes <sighs> and go from there. He can go. He can go into Zapdos if he wants to, but I don't think he wants to take this damage. We need to wear down the Vaporeon so that way the um, Dracovish can win. But we're down Elephant. We're down Toad. This is a good game, guys. This is a good game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Zapdos is incredibly, like, incredibly important in this matchup. Mordred. Okay. That's fine. I would love to make this thing fall asleep. I would love to get this thing to fall asleep. So I think that I'm actually going to go for it. Let's go for Sleep Powder. Come on, El Guapo. Come on. Hit this Sleep Powder, baby. Let's go! Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, um, now I want to bring in Zoroark. So let's go ahead and go for that. Again, disguise as Dracovish. This thing, this thing asleep is really, really nice. This thing asleep is super duper nice. Here's the first guaranteed and guaranteed turn of sleep. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go for a free dark pulse here. The Vaporeon, I believe, now gets to it KO'd. Boppy. All right, how much damage do I do to you, Zabdos? Okay, Zabdos. So we are level 50, Zorark, extra sensor, 56 to 67%. <sighs> I 
I think that he's the switch of moves. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch out here, right? I'm going to go for a U-turn. Yeah. Let's go for a U-turn. <laughs> get a little bit more damage off. This thing does not get roost. So this is unco unrecoverable damage. Let's bring in Tesla. Hope that we can get a static para. That would be super clutch. Super duper clutch. U turn. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. What is the play here? So let this thing continue to get damage off. I still think this thing is vested. I do think this thing is vested, but I'm gonna bring in a guapa. The spikes are gonna go a really long way. He has no way to get up rocks or hazards on his side of the field unless he's got an onyx silk ore. A guapa is more expendable than anything else. And dual chop, okay. Wow. That does a lot. That does a lot, a lot. But I do still want to get this weakened, because then if I can get it weakened enough, I think that I can get it with Dracovish. So we're going to go ahead and Sludge Bomb up. Get some more damage off. Knock off, okay. Does this kill? It does. Okay. Alright. So now... From here, I think that we go into Trinidad and go for a U-turn. Dracovish now does copious amounts of damage. Low battery, that sucks. Uh, I think I kind of want to just go for a U-turn on this play. It's gonna kill this, and I can get some momentum. Let's go for it. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm still afraid that this is not gonna, you know. Alright, Guz kills, Guz kills Rose, and then uh, Zoro kills Guz. Now we bring in Tesla, which does copious amounts of work this game. Which has to take care of like the entire team. So Tesla is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly important in this matchup. Levi. Okay. Can I kill you with a Thunderbolt? How are we doing on time? We're doing good on time. Zapdos against a Excelgore. Level 50. Yeah, I think I kill you with a Thunderbolt here. So I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Ooh, I'm nervous of what this thing wants to do to me. Sludge Bomb. This should be fine. Yep, Thunderbolt. This dies. Okay. Zap. Kills. Excel War. I think... I think Zapdos is in range of a, of a extra sensory. I think Zapdos is in range of an extra sensory. I'm actually going to bring in Dracovish here, the actual Dracovish. Yeah, I can live a hit from whatever he wants to go for. He's going to hit me so you know it's going to be Dracovish. I can go for an Outrage. Miss? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to double. And I'm going to double into Tesla. We're going to make a big boy play here. He brings in Vaporeon. And then on this play, I'm going to go ahead and go for a roost if I get this right. No! He 
caught me! Damn it! He was in a sack off his fucking thing, dude. Damn it! Mmm. Shoot. All right, we made it. We made the. We uh, damn it, dude. I was hoping that he'd bring a Vapori on there. I was really hoping to bring a Vapori on there. <sighs> I think he does now. I think he does now. So on this play, how do I kill Vaporeon? Dracovish, I think I have to go for a Vicious Rend. I think. Or I could just try to sack off Zorark. Yeah. So Zorark is now going to be disguised as Zapdos. I'm going to make the same play. And switch again. Damn, that's crazy that he called that. I could have just gone for a Fisher's run and killed it. That was the, that's gonna be the misplay that cost me the game. So we're gonna sack off Zorark here. Yeah, damn it, dude. Oh, he got me, bro. I'm a vicious run now. Dang it, Josh. That, that was a good play for him. That was a good play on him. He's probably going to switch into the Vaporeon now. And if he does, I won't be mad at him. If he does, I won't be mad at him. He, he played that super, super well. Uh, there's nothing else I could have really done here. Honestly, there's nothing really else could have done. Yeah. Gosh dang it, Josh. He got the 50-50. He got me with the mind games. I... Dang it, bro. <sighs> okay. I'm forced to switch here. I'm gonna Fisher's Rend again. Yep. Dang it! Ah, oh, he's getting all the 50-50s right! Ah, oh, I'm totally... Mm. I lose this game, bro. I There's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do. Ah, oh, damn it! I lose this game. Shut up. Good game to Josh, dude. I overplayed that game. I lost that game myself. I'm very, very frustrated. Hmm, I just, if I just clicked Fisher's Ren there, I would have been just fine. I would have knocked out the, 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 the Zapdos. And I could have won this game. Oh, dude, I'm so upset. I totally lost this game myself. I, I threw this game. I fucking tossed, dude, with the freaking mind games with the Vaporeon, bro. I tossed, bro. I'm so upset. Damn it. Was for a win. <gasps> he let me back in the game. He let me back in the game. He let me back in the game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. He let me back in the game. I'm gonna roost. He let me back in the game. Oh, that's gargantuan. Oh, that's gargantuan. He let me back in the game. Zapdos. How much does the damage does this ice beam do? A lot, probably. Not enough. I'm going to Thunderbolt. Or should I roost? I think I should roost. I'm going to roost again. Oh, 
All right. Oh, he let me back in the game. He let me back in the game. He let me back in the game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. 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 So I have to hope he stays asleep here and I have to go for a Thunderbolt. Oh my god, that is huge. Wow. 67 to 79%. He is super spadef. Toxic. Oh, fuck. Toxic King Shield. I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna bring in Dracovish here on the King Shield. He is the King Shield Toxic Percent and the Toxic King Shield set. So unfortunately only get two turns of sleep there. He attacks. Shadow Ball. Damn it, dude. He's getting all the 50-50s right, and I'm he deserves to win this game, dude. I'm just playing like absolute garbage. I am playing like absolute garbage. I'm gonna Thunderbolt. <laughs> he has to have King Shield if he's got Toxic. Oh, he doesn't. This should die. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm not even right. He said he's doing stats. I'm not gonna write stats. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be very, very close. Very, 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 very close. The toxic on this is going to be rough. I believe that the Zapdos is in range. This? Okay, so this thing probably has Tox. Um, this thing probably has Protect. <laughs> right? So we've seen Wish, Baton Pass, Ice Beam. I think we go for a Thunderbolt. I don't think it's Baton Pass and Protect. All right, so he lives two. Oh! Oh my god, Josh, I am so sorry. Josh, I am so sorry. When you watch this video, br brother, oh my god, that is mad unfortunate. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt here, and I think we win this game. He let me back in the game by when I switched into Zapdos. Was that quick attack? That was quick attack. He let me back in the game. Oh my god, Zapdos. Oh my god, Zapdos. Can I kill him here? I don't have another play. I don't have another play. I have to go for a Thunderbolt. He outspeeds. He hits. We live. Zapdos. Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> what a game! Oh my god, what a game! <laughs> he led us back in the game on the switch into Zapdos. We got a very unfortunate double para because I think that that Vaporeon went for quick attack. That's the only way he would have tried to have gone first. And that would have been the damage that he needed to get off on the Mega Kick. Granted, he still would have had to hit the Mega Kick, but still, oh my Lanza. What a fucking game. Wow. Bravo to Ultra Player. Shout out to Josh. I expected nothing less but this. Look at that freaking name of this room. I just noticed. Cracks open a beer at 9 a.m. D-Ray. What's going on, beautiful people? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm super lit. He's going to get very upset. I'm very sorry. I'm going to go kiss his butt. I love him to death. He's an amazing friend. 
we bicker back and forth, but he's, I, I love Josh like to death. He's always been hundred percent genuine with me. I appreciate people like that in my life so, so much. Please, please guys, please head over there. Then head down to the description below. Watch his side of the battle, get his thought process on all of those plays and, uh, Leave a like on this video. Uh, leave a thumbs up on this video. If you're not subscribed, and this is this is the content that you get, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Holy shit! What a game! What a game! I should have lost that game. Luckily, he let us back in by that switch, and then we got the double para. Holy moly, moly, moly! That was I. I butchered that a couple times. To be fair, I could have won a long time ago. I should have killed that Zapdos off so much, so many times. But I, the 50-50 mind games with the freaking Vaporeon got me because I was choice scarfed on Dracovish. Uh, that that's that was that was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, guys, when you get the chance, make sure you answer the comment question of the day. It's a battle of the Zapdos. I didn't say that in the beginning. What's your favorite Zapdos today? The Cantonian Zapdos was indeed victorious. But do you like Galarian Zapdos or Cantonian Zapdos? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear all your guys' answers. It means the world to me when you guys participate more in the comment section. So, with that being said, whew, I'm gonna I'm gonna go cool off. <laughs> You guys have a great rest of your day, and above all else, be nice. Peace.